Hey guys, welcome back. JB and I made it down to the river this afternoon. Right across over there is our uh, little crappie honey hole. The river is not down as much as I had hoped, uh, but it's down, well, it would have been about right where the top of my foot is Saturday. So it's dropped out a lot and I'm very thankful for it because as most of you know, uh, we're supposed to get a whole lot of bad weather uh, tonight and tomorrow in most parts of the country, or at least, say, from Texas up through Maine. And I'm sure praying that there's not much rain in that because the river is almost right. JB and I spent uh, five hours on the river Saturday, and uh, <laughs> beautiful place, and I'm going to put that up here and show it to you. But... Um, the cold nights i guess pushed them off the bed yesterday we went to a place called hurricane lake an absolutely beautiful lake and we fished it for four hours as hard as i could the bass were biting but uh all the bluegill beds and shellcracker beds you could see them and yeah something had pushed them off so when all else fails fall back on areas that you know really well and areas that uh should produce fish because you may not catch a you know a bucket full, but you'll catch enough for a nice dinner. And that's what me and JB are out here for, and I hope you guys can see all these mosquitoes. Uh, that mosquito spray really doesn't doesn't work. And yes, JB is on heart guard. Uh, <clears throat> he gets it the 20th of every month. Uh, 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 don't you bell off in that water. <laughs> um, the kid has no fear of alligators, but uh, I do. Um, for his protection um, but yeah he'd uh he'd bail off in that water in a heartbeat well do you want to get in the water well i might let you get right down there want to well go ahead right down there then he got a goofy face on okay guys uh <clears throat> what i'm gonna be doing today let me get this back on my head <clears throat> I brought some night crawlers. I mean, I brought earthworms in. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do with this guy, I may have to add a weight on here. And I got a little bitty hook here. <clears throat> Turn this guy around. Cause I want them big half pound to three pound shell cracker. I'm going to put the whole earthworm on there. Hopefully this one will cast really well. I haven't used this rod in a long time. Well, that's good enough. That gets us uh, where we need to be. <clears throat> and though uh, that water's still pretty murky, I can still see that line. And what we're going to be watching for is for that line to go backwards. I really want to teach a lot of you guys uh, how to uh, tight line fish and it doesn't mean that you got to keep your line tight it just means that you're not using a, a, a float of any type um, on windy days like this and I'm very glad we have this wind because otherwise we couldn't be out here with these mosquitoes uh, I may have to light a little fire uh, to uh, keep the mosquitoes off of us <clears throat> but when that line jerks back rather quick starts walking back now that's a whole lot of worm if you're going to use that much you want to give them some time and uh once it gets that worm in its mouth um you you've got to fish that's my boy that's my boy oh he's so happy to be out here he was so bored i was going to take the boat back out today uh and either troll up here or, or go to uh a place i know down around molino but uh i let my aunt use my truck and she swears up and down she was side swiped uh well maybe she was maybe she wasn't but uh anyhow um that truck's really not in any shape to pull a boat right now and uh but it'll be all right uh Yeah, I think I am going to put another weight on here and get it a little further out there. <clears throat> I 
All right, guys, let me get this other weight on. We'll get back out there and uh, we're gonna catch some fish. That was a big one just rolled right there. Red worms, guys. Just bumping that thing along and there was another one. It doesn't have any size to it, but that's all right. I need about a half a dozen that big for catfishing. Oh, we fell right off. Um, <clears throat> before I really get to fishing, I want to give a shout out to uh, B and M Tackle in Plumington, Alabama. Um, <clears throat> right there under the overpass uh, on US 29 or Highway 29. If you're going north, go over the overpass, take your first left, go around the corner, when you get to the stop sign, take a left and 50 yards, not even, well, I'd say probably about 35 yards. Uh, big metal building. Um, she's not sponsoring me or anything like that. It's just that uh, I want to do a, uh, most of you guys are my age, and uh, I'm sure you remember the cane poles. Well, those things are incredibly hard to find. And she had a few in, and she was so nice that she gave me one of them. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Alligator going across over there. Uh, and we tried that canoe out, that gator was chasing us around in there. Uh, well, I say chasing us around, he wouldn't, he wouldn't go very far from us. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, she's a real nice lady. She's got uh, all kinds of uh, bait and tackle in there. And uh, she's not open on Sundays. Um, but uh, I think it's Monday through Saturday. And um, if you're in this area, go by and pay her a visit and uh, get some good bait. Um, and if she's got any honey, try that out because I've been using the honey she has and uh, it's really helped with my allergies. Uh, and it's really good on biscuits too. All right guys, let's get back at it and see what we can pull out of here today. Pretty sure that was a bass on this night crawler. Oh, he's back on it. Oh, he spit it back out. Oh, there he goes. So that line pulls back it straight. That's what. You, there he goes. There he is. Oh, no. Now, how did you. You weren't what pulled that over. Now I'm going to have my catfish bait here real quick, guys. Get some of these little ones out of the way. It's just about half the size of your hand brim. Which the flathead catfish and the blue cat love them. But I'm going to show you guys how to How to go after them and uh, <clears throat> channel cats. I'm just praying that the river don't come back up too much. Five or six inches, it'll uh, that, you know that'll go back down in a couple of days, but. Somebody commented last night um, <clears throat> about how beautiful the swamp was. Uh, it was one of the crappie fishing videos I went in. I think it got like 80,000 views. I don't think very few, very many people watch the fish and they watch the 10 minute walk in. Um, <clears throat> well, it's the same swamp guys, but it looks way different now. But I love this. Uh, I don't know what color green you'd call that. British green maybe. But whatever the color is, it sure is beautiful. Oh, there he goes. When they're biting, you, you can't hardly set the rod down. And I bet he got that little red worm. I'm going to find me an old bathtub and just raise a bunch of them. You can do that. Uh, get you a styrofoam cooler, guys. You can you and feed them. Uh, you can raise your own uh, fish bait, even if you live in, a, in an apartment. Red worms are crazy easy to easy to raise. But 
But in a minute, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna hunt them shellcracker down. But I know they're here. Come on, mosquito, get out of my ear. Yep, he got it. All right, guys, let me find them shellcracker. Look at that big bird flying this way. I tell you what, I thank the good Lord in heaven that I have the ability to get out and see all this incredible nature. It's so beautiful. Guys, go fishing. It'll do you good. To move it, guys, and this one picked it up. Well, it was running. JB was gonna come help me with him. On these ultralight rods, they, they, they big fat ones, they feel so good. You was gonna get him? I believe you. I believe you, son. You're a great help. They should have seen you in that boat yesterday trying to locate. We could smell a bed, but we could not find it. that little tip on there I see he's going with it out there I'll get to him in just a second I bet he's still there yep nope That's going to be about six foot the other side of that stump I was telling y'all about. I just wonder what's there. Maybe a big old two pound shell cracker. I hope so. There he is. That bumping does it every time. <laughs> of course, uh, we could have done without that little one. Look at him. Third, I got corks bigger than you. And one starting at it, and that's a pretty good chunk of bait. We'll uh, give him a second. I know you're there. Oh yeah, you're going in the. Oh, you 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 outsmarted me. You were walking backwards and outsmarted me. It's all right. We'll just go ahead and put a fresh piece on. Sometimes I have to put down one rod or the other when this afternoon bite really turns on. <clears throat> Get this one back out there and bounce him. <clears throat> Maybe the weather won't be that bad. I hope wherever you guys are that you don't get any, you know, any bad weather. I think last weekend a bunch of folks had some bad tornadoes and that's, that's a real bad business. My hearts and prayers go out to them because uh, that's kind of what tore up our house uh, during Hurricane Ivan was the tornadoes.
and maybe there won't be nothing to it at all. Maybe it'll just uh, have some wind to it and, you know, blow the mosquitoes away and not a whole lot of rain. I see you going with it. Just keep on going. I felt you thump it right as I'm sitting it down. There you go. Keep on going with it. Y'all tell me how they can run like that and not get it. They get a hole into that worm and they don't get the hook. I'd like to get a little bit further out there, but that wind's just not gonna let me do it. I have to try to throw between gusts. Weather well, said we were gonna have some 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts this evening. Getting me around stuff down there and breaking me off. That's a nice one there. Big fat one too. All this high water. Lord, you have got that hook, don't you? There we go. There we go. Big nice fat ones. I'm not gonna put another cork on. Coffee rod. I don't like fishing places where there's lots of hangs, but sometimes you got you have to go to where the fish are, especially when the weather, you know. Now Saturday the weather was beautiful. It was windy, but not this windy. But uh, <clears throat> just couldn't. I'm done. One done found it. I'll see that line go tight in a second. Right there. All right. So he, he did. He didn't get all that worm down his mouth. He come back for it though. He done it that time. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes, sir. That's what I've been, been wanting, JB. Look at here. Look at here. That's, that's the shell cracker I was wanting. Look at that. Look at that. Fat. Can't hardly get my hand around him. That's what we want. And he's even going to give me my hook back. That's what we want right there, guys. I wouldn't mind getting about 10 more of them. If you ask me why I need so many, it's uh, not just not just me. Um, we got uh, got a neighbor and her sister. They absolutely love them, and they're just as nice as they can be. They keep an eye on the place for me. Uh, we had a little trouble with that uh, motor for that GNU and she was nice enough to run somebody down here to bring me some oil uh, you rascal you know what uh, maybe I yeah I can I just need to just need to wait on it, I think. Sometimes they'll get to where you just have to go to one rod. But with it getting later in the evening, 
I'm going to uh, go ahead and put two out. I do not like these eagle claw weights. If you got a pair of pliers, they're great, but if you don't have a pair of pliers, uh, I can't, uh, with my arthritis, I can't squeeze them tight enough with my fingers. <laughs> JB's like, don't mess up and miss any, Michael. Don't mess up and miss any. I think we're gonna have plenty kiddo second cast guys shell cracker all right JB With JB coming down here and that's a fine one too these shell cracker are all my life on this river these things get right up against the bank guys look at that guy water still ice cold and he's, his colors have faded uh oh no no you no 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 yeah, you slung that hook, didn't you? Oh, no, we don't want you to get away yet. No. Get my finger in there. Look at that thing. It got me muddy, but that's all right. Yes, sir. All right, let me get some Let me get some water in this bucket and get some of this mud off on me, guys. I don't want to get it all over the camera, that's for sure. <clears throat> He got off right there at the bank. He was just holding on to that worm. I think we got just enough light maybe for one more try, guys. I'm sorry, bees. He had laid down like he was taking a nap, totally ignoring me until that fish got on there. Look at that look he's giving me. I know it. I messed up and let him get away, didn't I? It's gonna be all right. There's, there's, there's another one out there. He ain't looking forward to that walk anymore than I am. Because when you get about 40 yards that way, you're out of this, the snakiest part of it. But uh, there's a lot of dead leaf litter on the ground and it's real dark even during the middle of the day walking down that part and uh, with these boots on, I'm not as worried about stepping on one as uh, I would be me not seeing one and one popping him. But I'll tell you one thing for a fact, you can't slip away and go fishing without him. And guys, uh, I've started a Patreon. I haven't, uh, I don't have the information right here and I hope I remember to put it up when I uh, put this video up. JB's gotta have some surgery the seventh of next month. He's got a growth uh, right over his canine tooth on the right side of his mouth. And uh, they're talking it might be cancer. And if it is, he'd have to either go to Auburn or he'd have to go to South Florida uh, for treatment and that's $80,000 a uh, a pop and I'm not even going to kid with you that I got that kind of money because I don't so uh, in the meantime uh, you guys say a prayer for him hey bees I knew that one thump and they had gotten it. We might as well use up all the bait, guys. That's why they're getting off. That big one is just about straightened that hook out. I want to thank all of you for the nice comments. 
uh, that you've left and uh, I really appreciate y'all watching the channel and we're gonna get some better videos out guys it's just uh you know fishing is fishing and I try to do it realistically uh, you know, there's a lot of guys on look at look at there he is that's a decent one um there's a lot of guys that uh I pull them pretty good I'm trying to get me hung in that stump uh <clears throat> You know, all you do is see them catch a fish every cast. Well, they may go out six days out of the week to make those videos. That's a beautiful bluegill right there. Heavy one, too. Wow. Look at there, JB. Look at that guy. Man, he's got it swallowed. I might switch hands here. Big hand painted bluegill. Over there just as beautiful as he can be you gonna eat this one okay i'll put him in the bucket then maybe he's like i know you ain't gonna let him go that's what it was guys i just they were not biting i guess due to the time of day or maybe uh the fact that the wind changed direction and <clears throat> it's coming out of the northwest now instead of the east <clears throat> you can still catch fish on an east wind but uh not as good as you can when it's coming in the other direction i've heard a little bit of thunder rumbling back this way I like it when they take it like that. That one almost made me forget my train of thought. Uh, <clears throat> you know, when you're coming out of winter, going into spring, you get a lot of storms, you get a lot of rain, and uh, it makes fishing videos hard to make. Uh, and if you're somewhere that's got a lot of lakes, uh, you know, a big river system, uh, like the Tennessee River or something like that, you can, uh, I should have had that one. If you fish it hard enough, you can put together a nice video. Um, but small river systems like this, uh, you know, I have seen it just flood the streets and the river not come up two inches. And I've seen 40 drop fall in a 100 acre field there he is and uh this thing will come up eight foot overnight well you're not what i want i thought you guys went to bed get out of here little dude i got catfish bait Little one from Mango, you beat up. You getting ready, JB? Guys, I'm gonna go for one more here. And uh, I think I'm gonna get him out of here. He's ready to go have his supper. And I don't blame him. Hey, please don't eat that grass. Every time you eat that grass, you, you, you get a bacterial infection. Come here. Come here. Bees, come here. Really, come here. Come on. Come on. He smelt that spot 500 times. He knows I want to show you guys that, that growth uh, on the inside of his mouth, and he... He is real shy about it. He don't want anybody to see it. But we found a doctor that uh, he likes, and uh, I think the old guy's pretty cool myself. There he is. There he is, JB. Good one. I want to get him away from that stump as quick as I could. Yeah.
Yeah, another real pretty hand painted bluegill. Thank you for helping. Beautiful colors on them. Beautiful colors on them. I went a little further than what I wanted to, but maybe that's maybe there's a big old shell cracker there. Maybe a big three pounder. But yeah, if you you know if you're in an area where there's lots of different bodies of water um where they stock it and uh <clears throat> there he goes uh, i should have given him another second all right he'll get it if he didn't get that bait he'll make another run for it What you're not seeing is they may go four times before they have enough footage of, you know, and you can kind of tell because the videos will be 10, 15, 18 minutes long, and uh, it'll just be them pulling one fish in right after another, right after another, right after another. And, uh, you know, that does happen sometimes, but uh, it's not the norm. And it makes a lot of people, you know, I have people all the time tell me, well, you know, do you ever watch so-and-so on YouTube? Yeah. I wish I could fish like him. I say, well, you better get ready to go every day then. Uh, you know, fishing is fishing. I was going to start a second channel, uh, doing some wildlife videos and buy some better camera gear but uh i got to put his help first before uh any of that and he does love to make these videos and he likes it whenever you guys are, are watching i'll turn the alert on the phone and every time one of you subscribes it'll it'll alert and he'll go get the phone and bring it over he wants to see who it is that subscribed and it's a different sound uh like uh i've got it set for i think every thousand views and he'll go get the phone and bring it over he wants to see uh you know who's, who's been watching he's very smart you are very smart i'm telling about your surgery what do you mean, please don't? Look at this, guys. That's what I knew was here. Now that's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. Get this hook out of his mouth. Big old hand size one. I don't have real small hands either. That's what we wanted. He might have just got here too early, JB. Well, here he goes. He's moving with it. That's a little bit better one there now. That's what it was, guys. I just needed that afternoon bite to turn on. Come here, big fella. Yeah, another nice one. Though I don't know if that, that counts. I file hooked him. Wouldn't have got him at all if I hadn't set that hook. Get him in there, dude.
Thank you, Lord. I'm so happy that these fish are the better ones are starting to pick up the bite now. And that should sink and end up right back in that spot. Getting some better ones now, JB. Yeah. Are you up some? Them real big ones like that, that one that was around that stump that I was telling you about that's down there. Uh, <clears throat> I'll fillet them big fat ones like that out. And I, sometimes I think if I had a hundred pounds of them fried up, he'd eat them. His favorite fish in the whole world to eat is mullet, believe it or not. And I bought a new mullet net and I intend to throw it. I'm just waiting on that water to warm up a little bit and these March winds to die down even though this is April. This time last year they claimed that they couldn't uh, couldn't get no mullet, too much fresh water. So me and JB stopped in a thrift store and somebody that was that makes those nets uh, was hanging some up in there. I think we paid 80 something dollars for it. I don't remember if it's eight or nine foot, but uh, I can throw it without hurting my back. I, I don't know about how much I can wade uh, and bend under docks, but uh, you know, I keep wanting to double up on me, guys. And I'm excited now getting some better fish. I'd... You don't want to think about it? Well, baby, they're going to give you some medicine. You're going to get real sleepy. And when you wake up, uh, they'll have you uh, in a little room where you can rest. And uh, they'll come get me, and I'll come back there and check on you. And then uh, we're going to give you a couple hours to uh, sleep all that anesthesia off and make sure you're okay. And then uh, if the vet says it's okay, I'll take you through McDonald's on the way home. He likes that McDonald's ice cream. Come on, mosquito. That was uncalled for. I just heard somebody laughing back over there. I don't know if you guys saw that last crappie video or not, but that picture that I showed you guys, we're not uh, too far from where I took that. <clears throat> All right, let's get this one bees and we'll call it a day. Huh. Well, he's, he's trying to run with it. Thank you, fish. You just got me wet. You don't look like I dirtied my pants. Won't you be embarrassed when I stop at the store? Baby's like, no, because I ain't going in with you. <laughs> I don't have any reason to stop at a store on the way home. We're going to go home and feed you good, and I'm going to clean fish. Well, he's jerked it a couple of times, but he just really hasn't committed to it yet. But sometimes in big old shell crackers, I have it. Well, guys, he broke me off. He got me around that uh, stump I was telling you about, but we got a nice mess right there. 
Now some of them are real nice. Bees is ready to go home. I got to pick up this garbage here and I need this last little bit of daylight to see how to walk out of here. But listen guys, seriously, thank you so much for watching. And if you will, check out uh, Nomadic Kayak Fishing. And uh, if you can uh, donate to Miller's uh, Patreon, uh, please do that. And hopefully we're going to get some good weather here before long and be able to do some good fishing for you guys. Until next time, y'all stay safe and look forward to your comments. Bye.